Happy Mardi Gras, Who Dat Nation. Harrison Graham here from Chat Sports. Before we jump in today's Saints video, crack open a beer, pour out a drink, and hey, subscribe to New Orleans Saints now and let the good times roll because hey, the good times are here in the NFL offseason with the NFL Combine upon us, free agency around the corner, and then it'll be time for the NFL Draft as well. Subscribe. We'll have it all covered here on Saints Now by Chat Sports. Don't miss any of our Saints news or rumors coverage. Like I said, you're watching Saints Now by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham, back with the latest Saints news and rumors, primarily around one Jameis Winston, who, remember him? Yeah, we've talked about him quite a bit and the possibility of him coming back. We'll explore that a little bit later on, but we do have at least somewhat of an injury update here after he, of course, tore his ACL back in week seven of this past season. Physical therapist Kevin Wilk posted a video of Winston running on a treadmill for the first time uh, since his injury occurred. And hey, maybe just maybe this uh, uh, gives more incentive for the Saints to re-sign Jameis if they fully believe he'll be ready for a lot of the offseason workouts, especially training camp. Uh, type J Dub to show Jameis some love in his recovery. Never fun uh, to try and uh, deal with a major injury like this, but uh, Winston was cracking a smile while he was on the treadmill. Good to see. Seems like he's attacking this rehab pretty hard. So type JW in the comments uh, to give Jameis Winston some love during his rehab. Uh, here's what Kevin Wilk, the PT, had to say uh, on uh, Instagram. Quote, first day of running since injury. Happy day getting back into running activities following ACL reconstruction. Jameis Winston running in uh, Alter uh, I INC uh, treadmill on 66% body weight. He feels great and he feels happy. The Alter G treadmill allows us to unload the lower extremely joints while extremity joints, excuse me, while gradually returning people back to running. I totally believe in gradually increasing weight bearing forces when returning to running. So just kind of a medical update there uh, in terms of the specifics of uh, exactly what Winston is doing with these workouts on the treadmill. But sounds like signs are pointing in the right direction as he recovers and probably looks to return to the Saints this offseason. Now this from Adam Schefter, he tweeted out a clip of uh, Winston working out on the treadmill. We can't show the clip, but we'll get to a photo in a second. Free agent to be quarterback Jameis Winston is running today for the first time uh, since he tours ACL uh, video by Kevin Wilk of Champion Sports. Uh, I assume medical is what that means. Uh, there's Jameis cracking a smile, looks happy, looks uh, excited uh, to get to that next phase of this rehab, which again can be a uh, grueling for some, but I do think uh, in general, when you face any adversity in life, if you have a positive attitude, that's going to give you a better chance of overcoming it and overcoming it quickly. Uh, I believe Jameis will be ready by camp based on where he is in his recovery. I'm no doctor, but, uh, you know, if he had surgery early in November, you know, training camps late July, early August, I mean, that's, you know, that's almost 10 months. So, that uh, these days, uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's about standard, anywhere from eight to twelve months. Uh, but twelve's on the long end. I think ten months uh, uh, is pretty average. So I do think there's a good chance he'll be ready by camp. So that brings us to the question: Should uh, the Saints bring back Jabo? Jameis Winston, of course, says, "Hey, you know, he wasn't you know lighting it up per se, but he was five and two, and uh, clearly the Saints' offense suffered once he exited the lineup. Four and six. Without him, he had that nice one over the Packers in week one where he threw, was it five touchdowns in that game? Uh, Producer Trace. Uh, and let's be honest, you look at the Saints, you factor in the Saints situation. One, the cap is, is not ideal. And two, there's not a lot of big free agency names out there. I do think the Saints could draft a quarterback, but even if they do, the chances uh, with this year's draft class uh, of a rookie coming out and balling out, that's pretty long. So you would still uh, benefit yourself if you re-signed a guy like Jameis Winston to a one- or two-year deal. And uh, I think other teams will have interest for sure. Uh, this would be a third straight one-year deal if you were to sign it. 14 touchdowns, three picks. Like I said, you know, the volume stats weren't great. You know, the completion percentage, not out of this world. But something that really stood out to me compared to his time in Tampa and this, you know, almost half season with the Saints, is the turnovers were down. He threw 30 picks in 2019 as a full-time starter with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He only had three and seven games a year ago. So on pace, I mean, you would have been looking at, you know, an 8 to 10 uh, to 12 interception type of season. That's a big improvement from what we saw the last time Jameis was a full-time starter. So what do you guys think? Will the Saints re-sign Jameis Winston? Get your votes in down 
in the comment section. Type Y for yes, type N for no, uh, and let us know if you think the Saints will re-sign Jameis or not. Like we mentioned earlier, make sure you subscribe to us here at New Orleans Saints Now. Happy Mardi Gras. Let the good times roll. Uh, and type me if you are a subscriber, and we'll try to get you guys a shout-out on a future video. We'll be in the comments checking those out. Type me, subscribe. Uh, we can cross-check those. So if you type me and if you are a subscriber, we'll get you guys a shout-out on a future video. Let's take a look at some key off-season dates now. The NFL Combine uh, getting going here March 1st to March 7th. Uh, starting here Tuesday, March 1st, today, as, uh, you know, players start to uh, show up at the Combine. Workouts don't begin until Thursday, so, you know, the next couple of days is, you know, weighing in, physicals, probably some interviews, that type of stuff, and then, you know, we'll get to see the on-field workouts starting uh, on Thursday. March 8th, the franchise tag deadline, uh, so if the Saints are going to tag somebody, Marcus Williams, uh, they have until March 8th to do so. Uh, March 14th, the tampering period of free agency begins. Really, that's the start of free agency, uh, but deals can't be officially official until March 16th. That's when free agency officially opens, but you'll see a lot of verbal agreements uh, starting on March 14th. And then, of course, about a month and a half later, the NFL draft from Las Vegas uh, gets going as well from April 28th to April 30th. So, you know, you get this Jameis recovery news, all these dates coming together, the combine is here. Off-season's ramping up. The Kind of that dead period of, uh, you know, the end of the playoffs to now, it, that's over. Like, it's uh, the NFL dominates the calendar. There's a week or two here and there where things get a little bit slow. But with the combine here, I mean, uh, football's back, baby. Football is back. Uh, maybe not games on the field, but workouts, you know, draft prospects, free agency, it's, uh, it's all starting right now, so... I, for one, am very, very excited about it. And I uh, wanted to throw this in with, uh, again, happy Mardi Gras. Uh, man, this corner is better than Eli Apple. And I agree. Any corner on Bourbon Street is better than Eli Apple. That's just the fact. If you disagree me with me, I guess you're a Bengals fan. Uh, but uh, I just don't agree with you on that front. Uh, one more piece of news. Uh, the Saints, they got to be going to uh, London. Uh, that's not really uh, a European accent there. But they will be playing overseas next year. We don't know quite yet who they'll be playing, right, Trace? We don't know. Don't know the opponent yet. Uh, full matchups will be announced soon. Uh, announced by the UFL UK there. So that's exciting. Packers and Jags also in London as well. Uh, a couple of other in international games announced. Uh, but for New Orleans, uh, they'll be heading to London. And, hey, that'd be a fun trip, right? Go fly to, across the pond, check out the Saints in London, and go drink some European beers. That sounds like a great trip to me. Uh, let us know. What is your one-word reaction to the Saints playing in London this upcoming season? Should be a good time. Uh, as uh, the NFL continues to go more and more global. Let us know. We'll see you soon here at Saints Now.